Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you ever studied foreign language, you could have noticed that sometimes there are a lot of similarities between words of your mother tongue and the language that you are learning uh, or the language that you are learning and some other languages that you've learned before. The same story happened to me. I'm Russian and currently I'm studying German and while my studying process I realized that there are a lot of Russian words that sound exactly the same or close to the same to the German ones and today I will tell you about those words. So let's start. Our first word, I will pronounce it in Russian, is Butterbrot. Does it sound familiar to you if you know German and have no idea about Russian language? So for breakfast in Russia you can have your Butterbrot. So it's just the combination of two German words. Butter, that means butter, and brot, that means bread. And we use it and I bet a lot of Russian people even don't realize that this is actually the combination of two German words. They think that this word is just completely Russian word. But our next word is, again first I will pronounce it in Russian, Galstuk. Here you need to think a bit more to realize which two German words were combined to create this word. So it's Halstuch. Hals means neck and tu is a towel, so it's kind of a towel for your neck, neck towel. Um, and we use this to say tie. So for us it's galstok. And now things can become even a little bit more tricky because we are going to look at the German word that means a tie and the word is krabata. Krabata. And this is so similar to a Russian word, kravat. But kravat, for us, it's a bed, not a tie. And this is so similar, right? Isn't that awesome? Also a bit confusing, but still awesome. Let's continue. Um, when I say rugzak, can you imagine what is that? Rugzak is this one. And in German it's exactly the same, just pronounced more like German. I'm not sure if I can do that. Rucksack. I don't know, my German pronunciation is probably not that good. But for us Russians, this is just a meaningless word. I mean, it's just a word. And for Germans, it's again a combination of two words. So, Rücken is your back and Sack is a sack. So, it's a sack that you are holding on your back. So. You can easily imagine how this word appeared in German, no? Rucksack. Most of the words that we looked at till now were a combination of two words in German. And we'll continue with those words because this is a brilliant idea. You just learn one word and then you can use it in a different kind of combinations. In my mind, it's just genius. Our next word is gastrol. So that's again a combination of two German words. Gast, that means guest, and rolle, that means Roll. And in Russian we use it to say a tour. So when you're a singer and you go with your tour around the country to give concerts, uh, we use the gastrol. One more interesting thing that I noticed is that there are a lot of Russian words, I mean the words that we use in Russian, that um, are a combination of German words. But those words are not quite really used in German right now. But if you know German, you can still understand them. In our next word, it's difficult to recognize two German words because of the Russian pronunciation. So in Russian, we would pronounce it Bugalter. And in German, it's Buchhalter. That means book holder. So book holder in Russian, Bugalter. And that means a counter. Pay attention to the pronunciation of our next word because it's quite similar with our previous one. It even has also the halter at the ends, so it's also holding something. The previous one was holding books and it was an accountant. And this one, bisgalter. Bisgalter. This one is this and it holds something else. And the tricky thing is they sound quite the same. Bugalter, bisgalter. Pay attention not to mix them up. And now let's look closer at the word halter. I told you that the pronunciation differs here. In German it's H and in Russian it becomes G. 
An interesting thing is, many times, if in German word you have H in Russian, you will have a G sound. And this is quite tricky for Russian people who are learning German and, in fact, uh, other languages, because in English I think it's the same. The good example here is a famous German city. So in German it will be Hamburg. And Hamburg is the same in English, but in Russian would pronounce it Gamburg. And you can see the same in the Hamburger and Gamburger. So in the McDonald's we would eat Gamburger. And my boyfriend many times makes fun of me when I um, say G instead of H that happens. And uh, the same is with uh, Hawaii. He's fond of uh, Hawaii pizza and I can just say Gawaii pizza because in Russian we say Gawaii. But it's in a lot of words you can trace the similarity and if you know that you can eliminate some of your mistakes. One more Russian word that I lately discovered is actually a combination of two German ones is Durchschlag and this is Steiner or Kalender. And Durch is the through in German and Schlag is a punch. So it's punching through Durchschlag. This word actually always sounded a bit strange for me in Russian, Durchschlag, and many people make a mistake how to pronounce it, Durchschlag, Druschlag, and uh, now I know how it's correct because it's from the German Durch, so it's Durchschlag. This one in Russian, Flaschka. In English, Flask. In German, Flasche. Isn't that magic? They sound so similar, all three of them. So what? Everything that I told you today means that learning a new language, you will not only learn this new language, you will also discover some interesting stuff about your mother tongue, as I did. And it means also that learning a new language, if you already know some of them, it will become easier and easier because you know a lot of words already and some of them can be similar, okay, they can sound similar, they can be combined in the same way. And just learning foreign languages, you will discover the whole new world, believe me.